and welcome to Let's Play 2 2016. This is 2K. I have Swarly. We're going to be booking TNA. How's it going, Swarly? Uh, pretty good. Uh, are you ready for Lethal Lockdown? No. Cool. That's what we're booking towards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we haven't booked anything after the pay-per-view yet, have we? Nope. Okay, last last recording, we just did a pay-per-view and then dicked around for like 20 minutes trying to figure out what the card should be, right? Yeah, the pay-per-view was an I Quit match. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's good. It's very good. Uh, let's see. To remind people, we are, are building towards a big 5-on-5 uh, five -five lethal lockdown match, which is basically war games. Without the submission thing, right? I mean, War Games itself became War Games without the submission thing. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they did so that like... War Games. Yeah, I, I feel like they gave up on the submission thing after like, I don't know, like 92 or 93 or something. Like, that only lasted a little bit. But yeah, initially it was like, oh yeah, it's War Games until all eight men are in the ring. And then it's the match beyond... And it can only be won by submission. We're not going to have the match beyond? No. Oh. The, mat the match beyond also sounds like something that like Bray Wyatt would do. Fuck, they should do the match beyond on fucking beyond. They must have had a match called the match beyond on Beyond Wrestling. I need to right? reach out to them. Hold on. Okay. Stop the stream. Well, they're busy right now. They're actually... they're. Uncharted Territories on Independent Wrestling TV right now. Oh, that's right. It's Wednesday, not Thursday. It's Wednesday, yeah. Oh, sorry. You, you pulled me away from a Tom Lawler Chuck O'Neill match to come do this, Nick. It better be good. They they have bod, right? Yeah, they have, of course. Oh, better than AEW. You could use the code MJF sucks to get twenty days free. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, that's real. That's real. <laughs> good. Uh speaking of MJF sucks. Let's build. We have no idea how we're going to get there, but we are going to get to MJF and The Rock in the ring together. Mm-hmm. So, let's figure out how we get there. Apparently starting in Puerto Rico. It's probably not. It's probably not ideal. Man, we haven't been to the Tri-State in over, over a month. Wow, that's so long. I think it, I mean, we run five shows a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. We're booking it. Where are we starting with? The Rock coming out and talking I know. about how I, we... I tell you exactly where we're starting. Oh, boy. Okay. Give it to me. We're starting... MJF and Joey Janela storming down to the ring. Oh, no. And they're going to cut a promo on who, who let this Shingo guy into the country? What is this? I didn't clear this. You, Joey didn't clear this. Who was that guy? Why was he here? That was... We were blindsided. We weren't ready. And quite frankly, I'm pretty sure that was done under the table. I made some calls. That Shingo guy, he's deported. You're never going to see him again. Wow, that was a good run for Shingo, at least. Yeah. Look, brother, I'm just trying to... <laughs> I'm just trying to cover up for some <laughs> panic booking on our end. Joey and MJF deport Shingo. Got it. Is that is that the whole angle? Uh, no. He should probably book some, like... Alright, we... This... Is this where The Rock somehow gets involved? Like... I mean, would The Rock come out to defend the honor of Shingo? No, The Rock's not gonna come out now, but okay. maybe... Maybe there's some kind of... Maybe there's some kind of match where, like, Rusev... Uh, excuse me, Miroslav Barnyashev. Mm -hmm. uh, look more if you want to. If you want to help me book, um, it could be me and you versus Nick. We'll, we'll do a compromise. Um, he could book some kind of punishment match of like, I don't know, M Miroslav and the big guy versus and... EC3. Boom. Sure. Is this turning into Miroslav and the big guy versus EC3 and the Rock? No, but the rock, the rock will come out and save them or something. Okay. Cause boy, what a match that is.
we've really been going to Handicap City uh, the last couple months since yeah, we put Joey and EC3 in charge. Yeah. We saw it work once, and then we were like, <laughs> solid. Yeah. This is good shit. <laughs> oh, no. This, this should be longer. Yeah. More, I told you during the finals, the schedule is going to be wonky. You were advised. The, the finals, are, they're not over yet? No. Okay. One to two more games. Great. It'll be over by next week. Great. Yeah, more rooting for the Raptors so that, uh, I could I could go back to streaming full time quicker, so he could go back to doing WCW. Should no, they... he's probably just going for the Raptors because everyone hates Golden State, right? Yeah, Golden State's fun. All right, I'm one of the few people who does not hate Golden State. I don't know. I feel like if you win enough, people were showing you no matter what. Yeah, I mean you're what? not wrong. My my all time. Uh proof of concept to that is when Okada was having like the greatest title run of all time and you had people being like oh but why can't someone else win why does it always have to be Okada like people will turn on anybody yeah it was Okada it's fucking Okada yeah no, he's just having like five star matches every time but what you know I kind of guess I'll complain about it well he's not doing that in his second run that's for damn sure look you wrestle 55 year old Chris Jericho and tell me how it goes all right it's not Okada's fault that he's not doing it, but, like, I don't know what Ghetto's doing booking people as old as he is in his main events. Fucking Chris Jericho, goddammit. Actually, this, uh, this save right here, it predicted that New Japan would just go to a bunch of 50-year-olds. I mean, what other 50-year-old are they going to besides Jericho? You are correct. Who? I'm trying to think of who was Okada's opponent before Jericho. I mean, he wrestled Suzuki, like, a year and a half ago. No, it was someone... <laughs> like, the last 50-year-old he wrestled, right? Uh, it was someone equally, like, underwhelming that I didn't want to see the matchup, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. Not Fale. Uh, I mean, Fale's about as bad of a challenger as there is, though. Was it Fale this year? He did, he did wrestle Fale at some point. I don't remember if it was a title oh. match or not. Okay, good. All right. Anyway. Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, more punishment matches? Not more punishment matches? Um. Turning. Let, let's go. Let's go to a match. Match. Turning Braxton Sutter face again. Oh yeah. We probably need to build up to that a little bit though. Uh, I mean, we have been. We we need to build it in. In the game, game. but we have yeah. definitely been like they've been losing a lot and talking about how they're embarrassed a lot. So. Well, maybe they should just cut a promo where they say those things. Okay. Here they are, cutting a promo. Keith Lee is going to berate uh, Rocky Romero and uh, Braxton Sutter, the big bird. Okay, are they going to talk back or just stand there? No, 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 no. You, you think Rocky Romero is going to talk back to Keith Lee? Yes. You think five foot six Rocky Romero is going to talk back to... The, the walking, talking building that is Keith Lee. I mean, I'm not saying it's advisable, but I absolutely do, yes. No, he's just going to berate them and be like, you know, we we were this close to winning the title and we were just, we've been blowing it and it, it's not acceptable. You guys are on thin ice, that kind of thing. All right. Uh, is he going to do the, because uh, I, I love this angle. Is he going to do the, I'm going to go show you how it's done, and then he has sure. a singles match? Sure, yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. Because we do need to build Keith Lee back up. Yes. So that sounds great. Keith Lee actually wins a match. Yes. Oh my god, I don't want to scan. That's that's a yell just for Swarley. Uh, who can Keith Lee beat that doesn't really get hurt by it too much? Bobby uh, Lashley. How, how? How? I just your thought process is so weird to me right now. You're like, ah, who can he beat? That someone that like, doesn't here? hurt. 
Let's look at upper mid card. Like, what are yeah. you doing? I don't know. Is Shiko here? I don't know. I, you, I was told he was not going I to be here. I was told he wouldn't be here, too. And then I wrote him off the show. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, news of Shingo's absence may have been exaggerated. Huh. Hold Nick, on. did you forget what day Impact was on? No, because it tells you in the calendar. Okay. Eh, can I not get into it? Eh. Okay. Well, Shingo's here. I'm not going to well, do actual Shingo versus Keith Lee, but... No. We should probably change Look. that. We'll go back and change that later. We'll edit it in post. Alex Shelley's only a mid-carder now. Eh. Well, we got Juice. We got Laredo Man. We got Dan Barry. Jeez. Juice? But aren't we doing Orange Juice versus CCK? Oh, shit, you're right. ACH? I mean, the only guy on this list that is not doing anything is ACH. Is that true? Yes. That is not true. It is true. Oh. Well, I guess it could be Laredo, man. I but. guess, but... All right. You know what? Laredo, man, you deserve some TV time. Look, it could be ACH. We're not, like... I know we like ACH and everything, but, like, we're not doing anything with them. Well, well we're not doing anything with either one of them. Uh, yeah. No, we do not have Mike Rollins as Sutter's partner. We have... Uh, Andrew Everett. Same thing. It, it made sense at the time two years ago in game time. Kind of. Oh, I didn't change the name of this. All right. So they don't. They just rant about Shingo instead of deporting him. Does that sound good? Sure. Watch this be like the one week she would have been available. Yeah, I'm gonna be real mad. Let me see if I can hold on. Availability. Yeah, that's a big X, right? Impact. A large X. Right? I I don't know what to tell you. That X is there for fucking impact. Game? Alright, Shango's available. We should probably do things with him. But I'm afraid to do anything with him because I don't know if he's going to be here next week. Uh, alright. Like, I don't want it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Also, we specifically booked a lethal lockdown without Shango. <laughs> we really did. Yeah. Because we oh. looked at that schedule and we're like, uh-oh. no. Also, like, he probably won't be a lockdown. All right. I'm going to check because we can... If we have Shingo, we should probably put him in lethal lockdown. But who would we take out? He is, I mean, not, he is, a, he is not going to be a lethal lockdown. He's just going to be an impact. Yeah. All righty. We did it. I... I mean, I'm fine with us saying he's deported, honestly. Like, if we're not wow. going to be putting him on the pay-per-view. I mean, he's on a paper appearance deal. It's not like we're paying him. Hey, he Besides, if... Back. Yeah, we, he could get back in the country. We need a new suicide. The Rock, the Rock got his Hollywood lawyers, and they got him back. Like, we can... Yeah. We can find... It's wrestling. This isn't a shoot deportation. <laughs> <laughs> Might be. Yeah. We don't know. Uh, all right. We should do something to... Well, the women's match, we're just running back the same match. The tag match, yeah. And, and both of them, right? Oh, no. No. We did Ashley and Tessa. So Ashley yeah. and Hojo, we got to set up. Uh-huh. That's an angle, right? Just Ashley cutting that, out. Yes, and... that's, that's Ashley just cutting a promo where she's like, you know, I've been preoccupied, uh, you know, setting things straight uh, with my personal dealings the last couple of months, but it's, you know... It's time for the queen to regain her throne. All right. Ah, uh, yes, Queen Ashley. Can 
Kyrie Hojo, you may be a good competitor, but I have the better genetics. I legitimately thought you were going to say you might be a good pirate. <laughs> but pirates are bad. <laughs> you might be a good pirate, but I'm a good queen. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right. It I, but at the same at the same point, like I could see her being handed a script that said that at like a WWE promo. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like fast forward two years when those two are feuding, a hundred percent. Two years, like six months. Six, six weeks. <laughs> oh, I forgot they brought her onto the main roster. Yeah. And have done The Kabuki Warriors, baby. Nothing with them? Question mark. Who knows? I don't know. Who Orange juice needs a win. Orange juice needs yes. Orange juice needs to justify why they're getting a tag title shot in a major way. All right, who can they beat? It, it's got to be strictly right to start off. You know who they could they could beat? Who? They could beat CCK in a non-title match. Like just right away? Yeah. Huge oh. upset, like flash pin kind of thing. Yeah, it's just CCK doing like a warm up match after the pay per view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orange Cassidy. I mean, I don't know. We probably couldn't. I, oh boy. The, in on. a perfect world, <laughs> Hold on. Orange Cassidy gets like a roll up pin, but they the game probably won't let us do that. Yeah, Travis Banks is extremely unhappy. All right, we'll try it with Juice. He I, still might be extremely unhappy. I like the idea of. What the hell an Orange Cassidy flash pin would look like. Charles Banks is extremely unhappy. Did nope. did you set it as a flash pin? Yes. Hold on. And if I'm going to do this, I'm going to try it right. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> orange. Orange. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, I had an idea for how we're going to start setting up the shooters versus uh, Chuck, Dan, and Bobby Lashley. Okay. Lay it on me. Lay it on me. All right. Backstage, you got, you know, Chuck, Dan, and Lashley just, I don't know, doing some shtick or whatever. Uh, Drinking whiskey, being, as they do. Being goofballs. And then Matt Riddle and... Um, Desmond Xavier are gonna walk up and be like, "Man, Bobby Lashley, what happened to you, man? You used to be a shooter. You used to be legit like us. You, we both feuded you. You took us to our limits. You were the biggest guy in this company. Now look at you. You're hanging out with these guys. You're a disgrace." You want to know something crazy that I looked at right before this stream? Uh, the main event of Lockdown uh, twenty seven eighteen. Was Matt Riddle and Bobby Lashley? Yeah, the main event, the main I believe, event. in a shoot fight. Things have changed. Uh, but yeah, oh, but yeah. but but here's here's the thing though. It's like they're gonna say that, and then Dan Bear's gonna be like, "Hey, <laughs> you don't feel that way, right, Bob?" And then Bob's gonna be like, oh, oh, oh. "You are asking me to remember who's in the shooters, and it is not happening." Right, right now, it is Matt Riddle and Desmond Xavier. Thank you. And that's it. And then, at some point, it will be also be Jack Swagger. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, but yeah, basically, they're going to be like, you know, Bobby Lashley used to be a shooter. Now you're a joke. And then Dan Barry's going to be like, nah, Bob, you're, you're, you're still cool, right? And then Bob's going to be like, I mean, I did used to be a main eventer. Like, the, they're going to cast a seed of doubt in Bobby Lashley's brain. Oh, no. People are posting shoes in your chat room. Ah, I see they are getting excited for stomping ground. <laughs> You've seen a pay-per-view, but have you seen a pay-per-shoe? Oh, I don't want to pay per shoe. I want two shoes. Well, you do. You, you just pay half price. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay. Um, are we doing anything with any of the other people in that match? Wait, uh, which match? Mainly the lockdown. Mainly Pentagon and Loki. I mean, that's, yeah, we got to do something with all those people. You know who hasn't been on the show yet, Nick? Okay. The Rock. Well, he's coming out at the end. Yeah, he should show up before then, probably, right? Oh, yeah, he just won his big match with Marisol. Yeah. Yeah. That's not The Rock. Uh, so he's just doing a rock promo on how he beat yeah. Miroslav? You know, Miroslav Barnyshev, he tried to blind me. He tried to use every trick in the book, but he couldn't beat The Rock. Because The Rock which apparently no one stage pull. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, which apparently no one is going to do because Rusev is by far the second most over guy and The Rock wouldn't job for him. So he's just going to hold this title forever. We're going to have to sign fucking Hogan to take the title off the rock. Nope. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's 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 do this main event. Let's see, see where right. we go from there. Because there's like 59 minutes left. We're going to have the rock come out again at the end. Yep. It was Ethan and the big... Yeah, okay. Again, just a good tag team. Uh, big mean guys win this match, right? Yeah, they have to. Okay. And then we get the big schmozzy finish of the show where, like... Miroslav's beating up. Miroslav, big guy. Anyone else coming out? Uh, yeah, I guess, like, Alex Shelley tries to make the save, but he's, you know, he's just too little, so he can't do it. So he gets taken out, too. All right. And then The Rock comes out. Mm -hmm. See, and this all makes sense, because as, as established, Alex Shelley and The Rock great friends yeah exactly they beat up ec3 shelly tries to save gets beat up rock save shelly also next week Ethan Carter could be like, uh, what the hell? I was getting beat up. You didn't come out. Alex Shelley gets beat up. Out comes a rock. What, who's saying this? Ethan. Why, why is there infighting? Uh, because I apparently booked like WWE. Never mind. Scratch okay. That. Cool. Uh, you want to do something to get Ira win? Um, I was thinking, what if we did Ear and Loki yeah. against the Lucha Bros? I like it. A rich guy and his hitman friend. Yep. Versus two good, honest brothers. Two good brothers, baby. Yep. Yeah, that, that dang Shingo was in the country illegally who had... MJF pulled some pulled some strings. Uh is who who's getting the win here? That guy's gotta win this. Okay. We'll uh, I I would like it to be Emmanuel Alejandro, but I don't know. Lucha Brothers might not be cool with that. They're cool with that. They should they should probably win with interference from like Uh I did it as like a cheaty win. Okay, that's fine. Uh I'm I'm imagining whoever we hired to be his uh two butlers this week get involved or something. Yeah, that's fine. As a reminder, Emmanuel Alejandro Rodriguez has butlers who wears lucha masks. Mm -hmm. This is an also he's part. Kalisto. <laughs> also he's Kalisto. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thirteen minutes. Uh, something something with uh, Team Anime and the Australian ladies. That's what I was thinking as well. Yep. 
I don't want to run back to the well of Madison Eagles hating anime. What what was the finish? Did did anime just win at the pay per view? I think anime just won clean. Yeah. Okay. Anime just won. Okay. Oh, total. Yeah, you are getting uh you're getting a crash course in what it means to be in TNA here. Uh so how are we playing this? Are we playing this straight or are we going for the goofs? I mean, my my go to thing here would just be like a backstage attack by the Australians on, you know, Mercedes and Hug, but that's that's kind of boring. It is, but it is also good booking. Uh, yeah. Good good booking is in the eye of the beholder, or something like that. So what what would you think to do in its place? Um. Okay. Well. No, it doesn't really work. We, I feel like we've we, we've done the thing I was gonna suggest too many times. Um, I have. I don't think we've established it well enough. But like, I have a real dumb idea. Okay, I'm listening. I'm already talking myself out of it though. No, 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 no. We we need ideas here. We're floundering. Okay, how much do you think it is established that anime and ACH are friends? Also, I did put Mirror Slave. That's not correct. Yeah, it's close enough. Okay. Uh, are ACH and anime friends? I mean, they're friends, but we it's like... We would be expecting people to remember, like, hey, remember six months ago when, in passing, they kind of said they liked each other? So it might be a bit of a stretch. But what, right. what's your idea? I want the Australians to kidnap ACH to force a rematch. Oh, that is... That is a bit of a stretch. <laughs> You're not um... saying No. I don't know. What if they just stole something instead of ACH? ACH is a something. How dare you? <laughs> I mean, he is, but like, what? Well, I, I, I feel like we've done that before too. Of just like, oh no, what if they stole? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Costume, like anime costume. Like we. Yeah, they've them. they've destroyed all the anime, mm -hmm. but have they have they stolen the anime friendship? All right. All right. Here's, Friendship, here, Swarley. Here's here's how I'm I'm imagining this uh, scene. We we come in. We got a tight shot of Mercedes, uh, Hug, and ACH, and they're all standing around, and they're they're like flipping through manga and just like you know shooting the shit. And be like, oh, have you read this one? Oh yeah, this one's real good. Blah blah blah. And then like, you know, just doing that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And then at some point. ACH is like, oh, you got to read this one. This one just came out. I just got it from Japan. It's so good. And he hands it to uh, Mercedes and Hug. And it, the camera kind of zooms in closer on them. And they're like flipping through it. And they're like, oh, yeah, this looks great. Oh, wait, ACH, where did you get this? And then the camera pans back to where ACH would have been. And he's gone. Yeah, I do like that quite a bit. And they're just like, ACH? Albert? Where? <laughs> oh, where we're, go we're going to shoot? <laughs> Yeah. He's gone. Okay. Well, that's perfect. Also, the Australians are ninjas now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Crikey. Still, still waiting for uh, Tennille and Eagles and CCK to form the Australian supergroup. Well, maybe, uh, maybe we'll get to work ACH versus CCK and somehow. Yeah, sure. Hanging out. 
creating manga. ACH shares super rare manga. Hey, there we go. Now we're talking. Hard zoom. Then ACH is gone. Oh, it won't fit. Then ACH go. I you really went for the like uh, description here. Normally we just would have just wrote like ACH kidnapped by Australians. Very important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So that happened. We we also we still have Eddie and uh, Will. We sure do. Uh, Eddie wanted the pay per view, I believe. Yes, I believe we did the gimmick where Eddie was like, "Alicia, you're she's not she's staying in the back. She won't interfere. I I promise." And then she interfered. Yep. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that means we have to have raging, angry Will Osprey storm the ring and say something along the lines of. <clears throat> Eddie Edwards, Mattress, you're a coward! You're a liar! I can't believe what you've done! And so on and so forth. And, and that's right. Yeah, look, I can only do that so much. Okay. Osprey calls Edwards a liar. He's it, not wrong. It, Will Ospreay needs to find a female friend. I think is the where we're going with this, right? Doesn't he have a female friend? I mean, I don't know. Should, she just doesn't exist should, in the city? I guess what I'm saying is, should we sign Bea Priestley or just make it be like Tony Storm or something, since Tony Storm's already here? Uh... <laughs> or like Tessa or Candace or something. Because like, we have a lot of baby-faced women that aren't doing anything. Candace is busy. In what way? <laughs> she has a match versus Rebecca Knox because she was friends with Tessa. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, do you, are we going to start that now or are we going to wait on that? Uh, I'm fine starting that now. Uh, all right. Uh, match? I think we're short on matches. I, I guess we'll do a match. Okay. We already have a bird total. Can't yeah. do that. A big one, in fact. Uh, would you like to do, or would you be okay doing Candace versus a heel and Becky causing the heel to win? What if we did... Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, the bird is Braxton Sutter. Don't question it. Uh, who, Mia Yim? Uh, she deserves a win. Oh, either her or Kaylee, Kaylee Ray. Kaylee. Yeah, I think we should put Kaylee Ray. <laughs> It'd be Mia Yim if Candace is winning. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, got cut to. All right. I'll bring that down to nine. Jam packed impact. Sure is. Storytelling. This match, right? The one we just booked? Um, or Orange Juice versus CCK? The match we just booked, it is! <laughs> that match is already going to be hampered enough with like the quick pin and the keeping strong and all that. Alright, how are you feeling about the order here? Uh, join MJ. Keith Lee and Lee. Uh, Laredo Lee. Man maybe higher than the Orange Juice CCK? Um... Like this? Or I can put it back if you want. No, nah, it's probably fine. Okay. I think Ashley and uh, promo should be higher. Hmm. Okay. 
Do you think and... Keith Lee and Laredo Man will do better than Lucha Bros versus Ear and Loki? God, no. Okay. Then I think this is fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, do we have should, anyone who's going to be mad? Dragon yeah, Lee, say... Eddie Edwards. Oh, Dragon Lee, you mean the X Division champion. Dragon Lee and Shingo versus did, fucking Star Wars. Did, did you not have Eddie Edwards show up during the Will Ospreay promo? No. Was he supposed to? Oh. Yeah, he should probably show up. Okay. What does he do? I don't know. He defends himself. Be like, look, I didn't. I didn't tell her to come out. I can, you, you, you're clearly not married. Like, you, you don't understand that. The, you know, I told her not to come out. His wife doesn't listen. Come on, can't blame this on me. Oh. But then at least you could come out and be like, "How dare you, Eddie?" I'm very mad at you. Uh, all right. So, we got Dragon, we got Shingo, we got David, we got Jake Hager. Um, I kind of want to book Dragon Lee versus David Starr to see how that goes. Okay. It's going to be dope. Yeah. Yeah, part of me wanted to book just like Dragon Lee and Shingo in the dopest dark match of all time, but we, we did kind of in the very next segment come out and say he's deported, so I would... Uh, it's not Shingo. It's um, our new masked wrestler, Dingo. Dingo Ragagi. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. Um, David Starr. Fuck it. Give him time. Yeah, it's dark match. Who cares? Uh, okay. Well, that rules. You ready? Yeah, I mean, this this is this is a good old-fashioned test right here for David Starr. We'll see how he does. Oh, I think he's going to do real well. I hope so. Oh, he did real well. I'm, I'm not, I'm not there yet. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should start doing things with David Starr. I mean, I mean, beyond being Eddie Edwards' tag partner, being Eddie Edwards' friend is an all right spot. It's done well for him. Yeah. Oh, this did real well for just these two talking. Yeah. I always forget that, like, oh yeah, these two are good. Yeah, Joey's a better talker than wrestler in this game. Yeah, it's real weird. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It says C minus with orange juice. I know. Orange Cassidy is like, in the thirties. CCK are like main offenders. Yeah, and they're doing <laughs> God's work yeah. getting Orange Cassidy <laughs> over. All right. Oh. What? Oh, oh. What is? What is this? What hacks did you put in to get an eighty six on this? Uh, I didn't rate Rocky and Braxton because you said they weren't talking back. Okay, that's so fair. So this is all Keith Lee. Dang. We should do things with David Starr and Keith Lee. Yeah. David Starr could be the new Braxton Sutter when they kick him out of the group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Keith Lee's real good. I'm starting to... Uh worry about my prediction that there was no way this match would be better than that tag but i have a lot of faith in the lucha bros this did okay yeah this was this in retrospect was way too high on the card but yeah. that's fine uh-huh uh will yelling very good will will osprey talking as always does fine hell yeah <laughs> people want to know what's going on <laughs> yeah. who did it Bro, this is intrigue, bro. This is they gotta tune in next week. Where's ACH? What happened to him, bro? This is now we're booking. Now we're booking, bro. You finally getting it. Just look at the look at the list of people in this segment. Yeah. Legends. <laughs> Legends and Bobby Lashley. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I told you people like Ashley. You were right. 
I didn't yeah. argue this at all. You just forgot. Yeah. And also, Hojo's real good on the mic, too, for some reason. You were right. Yes. You did it. Yes. <laughs> uh, Ear is starting to come around. Yep. And this is real good because we, we need him for that singles match with Dragon Lee to be as over as possible. So they could do su- stupid good. Uh, speaking of stupid good, mm-hmm. The Rock talking. The Rock comes out and goes, I ain't ever dropping this title. <laughs> never. I'm going to take it to the grave. And I'll never, ever leave you again. <laughs> God fucking damn it. The attitude air is back. <laughs> Rock promos and handicap matches, baby. Oh. Let's crucify someone <laughs> next week. Let's go. All right, ACH, we know what's happening with you. <laughs> uh, just a weird a weird left turn for that feud of like, oh, yeah, we're Australian, <laughs> but we're also evil. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would do a little better, but I guess it also had the other people in it. So it's by the a... other people. I feel like just putting Alex Shelley in this dropped it like 10 points. He just sold. Uh, All right. I'm just saying, I feel like he's pretty... Wow, this show rocked. I mean, it did. Dragon Lee and David Starr was on the, like, the undercard, or the pre-show. Yeah. And dark match. Yeah. And it wasn't a ridiculous statement that that was on the dark match. It was, like, the fourth best match on the card. Yeah. Oh. We cheated so hard. Why? What do what, you what, 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 what mean? I mean, we didn't cheat. Nothing we did here is broken. But getting the rock feels like it. Yeah. All right, what do you got for me? Dragon Lee has an opinion. Uh, The big guy's too big. I was going to say, I hope his opinion is just like, the big guy sucks. Orange Cassidy is unsafe in the (laughs) brain. I can see where you're coming from. Dragon oh. Lee. Could, could you think of Hold a on. safer person to wrestle I need to than Orange me. Cassidy? All right. And print screen. <laughs> Thank you. Just, just Dad. you know, giving you half-hearted chops and kicks and just laying on the ground <laughs> as part of his offense. Also, it's coming from Dragon Lee, who is like the most flippy of flips guys. I know he's yeah. not unsafe, but like... If you put those two styles next to I each mean, other. I don't know. Ask, ask Hiromu Takahashi how safe he is. I don't uh, know. Uh, Look, I, I'm not saying he's unsafe. I'm just saying you could probably make the argument. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a, a fair few of his matches. And it doesn't seem like that's the norm. But it is a shame that that occurred. Wow, New Japan is just, uh... Yeah. Corralling all the old folks, huh? He, he, he's not a worker, though. He's, like, okay. doing right. road work. All right. But, yeah, if he was main eventing for them, would be like, all right, New Japan. Oh, Caprice Coleman retired. Oh, we got Kid Lycos. All right. Oh, did he? What a, what a shame. A lot of information here in Dan Cowie. Is that is he a fake person? No. no okay. Because it wouldn't How... put that piece at the end if he was. All right. Unless, well, I don't know. I mean, I it seems like that could be auto-generated. Like I don't it know. did. I. It felt like no, it wasn't. But evolve one twenty. Jeez. I think they're past that for real. Are they? Yeah, because I'm. I, I, I don't know. I have not been keeping up, but I feel like they're in like the one thirties now. Eighty two. Fred Yehai. Eighty two. Fred Yehai. 
look, we've been burned by looking at of all things in, uh, before, so. Not Although, I guess over. Chuck and Rocky have actually worked out pretty well. I was just saying, what are you talking not. about? Yeah. We got two solid mid-carders from that. Also, like, the next two Evolve shows are Evolve 129 and Evolve 130. So, yes, right. they, are act- they are past that. Well, they do keep doing, like, double shot weekend yeah. things, so. Right, and they don't. I don't think the game does double shots. Nope. Look, I mean, if you want to look at Fred Yehai, we can look at Fred Yehai, but I think he's just going to turn into Tracy Williams. I looked, and he was, like, mid-40s, so I decided. Yeah. I didn't even bring it to your attention. No, I, just I was looking at the Evolve yeah. shows. Uh, all right, nothing really go- going on here. Oh, fast lane. Vroom, vroom. Cesaro over Miz. In, in the main event? John Cena over Big Cass. Oh, wow. This is the darkest timeline. Alicia Fox over Asuka. <laughs> In the only two women left match. <laughs> uh, uh, nope, that checks out. Okay. Man, can you can you imagine Heath Slater and Rhino still being a thing in 2020? Oh, that'd be bad. Yeah, that really dates uh, when we started this, huh? That Heath Slater and Rhino were still a tag team. It does. That feels like a million years ago. It's one of those things where, like, if you told me, like, if you were like, hey, remember Heath Slater and Rhino? I'd be like, not until you just said that. Yeah. No, everyone loved it, Nick. He's, he's got kids. Yeah. Okay. I feel like remember? a lot of, a lot of the things in WWE are liked just because they're different. Like, it's not the monotony. Um, yeah, people are desperately clinging on to something to like while watching WWE shows. Yes. Okay. 100%. Uh, Lin- That's not Lindsay. Th- this is, th- that was also 100% how I felt about uh, Oof. Miz and Miz Dow. Well, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. it's so funny. And I was just like, it was like, that was like a funny spot. And then they, they it turned everything. it into like a character. I mean, it's the most over that gimmick has ever gotten, the uh, Mm -hmm. mimic gimmick. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Maybe maybe Blue Pants can take some some notes there. Uh, Shh. I... Nothing, no, no cool people leaving WWE. Just Lindsay, who is like not over at all. No. Nor should he be. Lindsay Dorado's in the WWE. Mm hmm. Still. Yeah. Somehow. Against all odds. No, that's, that's us. Oh. Still, somehow. Lockdown. <laughs> Getting. I was going to say, should we steal Morrow, but I think our, I'm pretty sure our commentators are better. He would be an addition, but I don't see the need to do a three man yeah. booth by throwing Can, Morrow can in you there. imagine Morrow and Hollow and Ultraman is black? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Mama Mia, can you believe it? Stop yelling at me, Morrow and Hollow. <laughs> can you imagine that with a stereotypical yeah. southerner? Who is the best announcer in the world? Calm down. (laughs) Do you want to try and get Dean? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can get more a more up to date picture if we get him. Yeah. He says no. Too small. Oh wow. Okay. Well, how over is he? Eighty-five. I mean, that's about as over Rus as Rusev is. It's about the same. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Dean just remembers what we did to him in the WWE save. We didn't do anything to him. <laughs> we asked him to lose a match, and then he left. Yeah. Wait a minute. I guess, I guess to be fair, knowing what we know now, he was just already real unhappy. Yeah. He's just looking for any excuse to get out of there. 
mid, mid Atlantic? No, mid South. Sure, mid South. Denver. Coming to you live from Denver. Uh, yes, the old mid South town of Denver. Mm hmm. Because when I think of mid South, I think of Denver, Arkansas. <laughs> I think of Denver, Colorado, the place, not the person. <laughs> well, we're coming to you live from Salt Lake City now. Uh, <laughs> how are we starting this? And how is The Rock telling us that he's involved in the, the Lethal Lockdown match now? Oh, I, I think The Rock's just coming out and he's cutting a promo about, you know, Miroslav Barnyshev. I already didn't have any respect for you, but now you're aligning yourself with this Joey Janela and this MJF, you bunch of cowards, you know, blah, blah, The Rock. And then uh, I think Joey and MJF have to come out and be like, you know, look, Rock, we were trying to keep you out of this. Don't put your nose where it doesn't belong, all right? You, you know, you might, you might think, oh, you're the champion, you're Mr. Hollywood, you're above everything. We run this show. So, uh... I guess they should book The Rock in a match, right? Uh, I guess, yeah. I mean, the the days of The Rock being being the Hollywood like protected guy wouldn't wouldn't be there anymore now. No, no. Also, we've been doing that for like a year. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh boy, make him defend we, the title tonight. Do we? Str I, well, I was gonna say, do we straight up do another handicap match, or do we have him defend the title? Have him defend the title. All right. Give me this, okay? Mm -hmm. Give me The Rock versus Big Guy. We're not going to do it on a pay-per-view. We sure aren't. Give it to me tonight. Nick? Yes. You got it. Yeah. Uh, let me check sign. You got Decent Menace? Yeah, we're going to use Menace instead. He's so big. I like how, for months, we were like, should we sign Ryback? Eh, I don't know. And then we finally signed him, and it's just been like, TV main event, TV main event, TV main event. This is where, this is where the, the company changes, right here tonight. The maybe. biggest match in Impact history, maybe literally, these guys are huge. <laughs> Thank you, Ultra Magic Black. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Also, perhaps the first time in Impact history where it's been a the versus the match. Oh, that can't be true. I think The Rock should win by DQ uh, when he's about to get a three count and then like MJF jumps on him for a DQ. He's trying to sabotage this. Yeah. He doesn't want The Rock to get the clean win. No, you, Swarley, are trying to sabotage the rating. Oh. So that big guy doesn't get a good score. MJF's good. Nah, this is this will do fine. Oh, and then they're all going to beat down The Rock? Yeah, I guess. Maybe all five of them? Yeah, probably. Oh, this is going to be a mess for uh, Booking Network since we did a five-on-five -five match and we only put eight people in angles, huh? Yep. Definitely something that needs to be corrected. Yeah. In the next game, which needs to come out very fucking soon. The bad thing is that I keep reading the development journal and then I find it harder and harder to play 2016. Mm. So I'm like, ah, but this is this is fixed in the new game. I mean, we have two empty slots. You want to at least send, like, Shelly and EC3 out there to, like, try and help them, but they get beat up or something. Okay. And then the Lucha Brothers could have been in a match earlier. Yeah, or something. Maybe they haven't committed to helping the cause yet. I don't know. Who can say? Yeah. Uh, alrighty. Alright, run the show. That's gonna be great. <laughs> Bobby Lashley should be in a match after last week. 
You know who his opponent should be? Is it Matt Riddle? Jake Hager. Oh, okay. I see where this is. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's exactly where this should go. Mm-hmm. Couple of shooters just shooting. Also, I like that we were like, oh, yeah, TNA, we're going to turn around. We're going to make it better. The matches we have booked for the show are The Rock and The Big Guy and Bobby Lashley versus Jake Hager. All right, they have awful chemistry, but it doesn't matter. Oh. What's the stream schedule this week? You're looking at it. <laughs> Uh, it is this, and then I'm doing a charity stream on Saturday, and there's the finals on the rest of the week. So, that's about it. Basketball. Basketball. Is Lashley winning this? Or is are the shooters beating the shit out of him? Alright, here's my plan. Bobby Lashley wins. After the match, the shooters come out, and they're like, acting like they're going to get in the ring, and Bobby Lashley's ready to fend him off. But then, as he's, like, distracted looking at those guys, Hager gets up and beats up Bobby Lashley. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that this is a submission finish, just for my own, like, feel like it should be type deal. Okay. Doesn't matter in the game. Oh, it, it sure doesn't. That might be the first and only time I ever do that. Okay. Stetson's? Yeah, he is. I can't wait for next week's Hag Rag. <laughs> it's going to be unbelievable. Now there's three people who can go through the table. They're going to break it once, put it back together, break it again. Oh, don't tempt me. You have Dan Barry in this. And Chuck <laughs> Taylor. They would both do that. Yep. Uh, Do something with Ashley. I, I have an idea for a match. Oh, what? What if we did orange juice? Mm-hmm. Against Braxton and Rocky. Yeah, an orange juice. I love it. I yeah. love it. I love and all then of this. Keith, and then Keith Lee could dress them down again after the match. Or just like, what did I tell you last week? Were you guys even listening to me? You got pinned by Orange Cassidy. I also like that we're doing a heel gimmick where the heel is, like, understandable and has, Mm -hmm. like, real motivation. Because Keith Lee being frustrated makes sense. It would have to be Braxton losing here, right? Yes, 100%. Okay. Another flash or, like, an actual win this time? Thank you, another flash. Okay. All right, Orange Cassidy, just keep it safe. (laughs) Dumps him on the back of his neck with the schoolboy. Out for six months. And then after the match, you can have Keith Lee just shout at them. So if Keith Lee's getting 83s, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 86. When we resolve this, we need to do Keith Lee and Ethan Carter. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Also, I guess CCK should, I don't know, maybe they could cut a promo before or after this match, or maybe you could put one of them on commentary. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, Chris Brooks. Sure. He seems like the one you'd pick. Uh, <laughs> um, would you like to do a, um, Ultra Vantis Black sit-down interview? With whom? Uh, Kyrie Hojo. 
<laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> About the the greatest threat to her title, perhaps so yes. far. Blah 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 blah. Yes, Kyrie Hojo, you've been an excellent champion, but you ha- you haven't had to face Ashley yet. Et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Is, is Ashley showing up or anything? Or well, she has shown that she knows exactly where these happened in the past. That's true. So yes. Just shows up and yells at Kyrie to Ultramantis Black's increased frustration. <laughs> Who let her in here? I hired security. No yeah. security didn't do their job. Uh how are we continuing the AACH storyline? This is your baby, Nick. Okay. Um Give me uh, two workers who you would like to see get on the card who haven't been on the card in a while. Women or men? Any. One of each. Um, baby face or heel? Uh, one of each. Um, Preferably good talkers. All right. Ethan Page. All right. And Ethan Page got fired. Dang replacing it. with David Starr. Okay, I mean you could you could change it, but it yeah. Is David, are these people going to be looking like jabrones? What? No. Okay. Here's what I'm doing. Uh, anime is just going backstage and like talking to random people, being like, "Have you seen ACH? Like it's been a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he disappeared. I don't know if you you watched the show, but he's gone." Okay. One heel and one face makes that sense. So David Star could be like, "I don't, yeah. I don't care." And then um, he could talk. She, they could talk to uh, New Fisto. Yeah, there you go. She'd be concerned. Yeah, she's also she was in that group with ACH. Yeah, kind of. The ACH was never really in that group, and it's alright. Yeah, <laughs> Honestly, it probably would have made more sense for them to kidnap New but uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Anime looking around backstage. For ACH, asking wrestlers, find ransom note. Mm. They don't open it yet. I should have seen this coming. It's taped to uh, the cover of the uh, ultra rare manga. Oh, they they ripped the cover off and left a note. Those monsters. Yeah. Or they just glued it to the cover. Oh, God. That's never coming off. They have to lose at the pay-per-view after doing something as heinous as that. Yes. I don't know how you could promote such dastardly heels as winners. Uh, We need matches, and we have Dragon Lee. Okay. Um, We also have Ear. So they should be on opposite sides of a tag match? Sure. Okay. Uh, who you want to put in there? Hey, you want to do a six-man? Dragon Lee and the Lucha Bros versus Ear. Uh, Loki. Loki and, and a friend. Then somebody. Miroslav. That doesn't make sense. I guess Pentagon kind of was feuding Miroslav for a while. Yeah, it could be Miroslav. What else is Miroslav doing? And he's, you know, we've established that he's a bad guy with MJF and Joey now. Yeah, it kind of establishes him that in that group. Yeah. This, like, sneaky just became a really dope match. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how sneaky it is, but <laughs> yeah, this match should rule. Uh, who, who wins? Ear. Miroslav or Dragon Lee? Ear. I don't even know who... Okay. Yep, and everyone was okay with it. Yeah. Didn't even need to be tainted. I mean, it probably should be. You should probably have, like, Joey get involved or something. 
Okay. Just a distraction. Yeah. That just, that dang Joey Janela. Just dancing. <laughs> Can't take his your eyes off of him. He's he's gonna blow smoke in someone's face. He's gonna light up a cigarette uh, yeah. and just just keep I, lighting cigarettes and flicking them in the ring. Yeah. Phoenix is, Everyone knows Dragon Lee's allergic to cigarette smoke. What a Phoenix, monster. Phoenix needs to clean it up compulsively. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's got one of those little dustpans and brooms that you sweep cigarette butts up with at like uh in the oh, parking no, lot. Nope, nope. We don't want to get sued by Kenny Omega. Hmm. Hmm. Eddie and Will need something. Eddie and Will need something. Hmm. I think Will needs a lady friend. Okay. Is Will just going backstage to Tony Storm like, hey, help me. <sighs> All right. Let's just put Will Ospreay in a match. Uh, I have... Like, does this lady friend need to be a date? No, 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 no. Okay, good. It's just some people use lady friend in place I, of like I understand. romantic interest. Uh, this I just mean a friend who is... All right. It doesn't have to be a match. We can just do an angle. I, but some, I would like to test Will Ospreay and Allie together. But she's married to Braxton Sutter, which makes this kind of weird. They're friends. I, I get that they're friends, but... All right. You know, I think... I don't know. I just... Like, I was going to have it be Tony Storm, which I feel right. like is a better, a much better idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I just want to do some kind of angle where it's like Alicia and Eddie Edwards are both beating up Osprey. But, like, you know, it, it gets to the point where, like, he has to hit Alicia, but obviously he can't do it because that, you know, that would be bad. And then, like, as that's happening, he gets jumped from behind by, like, Edwards. And then Tony Storm comes out and, like, Yay! And, and I, I was, I'm saying like, oh no, they don't have to be. This doesn't have to be a romantic thing. This is, we're probably going to turn into a ham-fisted uh, romantic thing. It's probably going to happen. I don't know. I don't know if I would. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I could buy Tony Storm and Will Ospreay together. Why not? Tony Storm's too cool. Damn. Yeah. I'd have Will Ospreay's a pretty cool dude. Not cool enough for Tony Storm. All right, new plan. Shayna Baszler runs out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. Hmm. Yeah, now that's a couple. It's a couple of what? <laughs> uh, we need eight more minutes. <laughs> oh, God, we only have eight minutes left? Yeah. We okay. booked almost everything except Candice and Rebecca. Oh, Okay, we should probably do that then. I I think uh oh, I think Candace to... should cut, cut oh. a promo where she's like, Hey, what the hell? <laughs> and then Rebecca could be like, You stuck your nose where it doesn't belong. I'll tell you what the hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make an example out of you just like I did of Tessa. I'm, you're, after, after you lose, you're never going to show your face around here again, just like Tessa. Tessa walks by backstage like, what? <laughs> Who has disappeared <laughs> off the show. Uh, she is seen on Explosion, exclusively yeah. on Impact.com. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, last week I saw a pretty dope David Starr uh, Dragon Lee match on Explosion. I would be right? fucking yeah. all over that shit. Yeah. Uh, two more minutes. Probably right, who's, who's left? What do, who do we got? Chuck Taylor. Chuck Taylor. And Dan Barry. Uh, do you want to try Chuck Taylor and Dan Barry as a team? They've been being a team. Have they? Have we done them together at all? I don't know. You want to book them against Strictly? Sure. All right. Good talk. Great. 
So I think we were doing Dan Barry. Uh, but I don't know. I'm sure at some point we must have had the two of them team together. Like they've been team in that group of three for like um six weeks now, but I don't know. I guess it's possible. Okay. If it works, this might be the new permanent team and Bobby Lashley might be able to go on to greener ventures. Or less green ventures. Uh Chuck definitely needs to win. Yes. He's stone cold. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know who's been sending us a lot of emails complaining about uh... not winning matches? Dan Barry. Get him to shut up for a little bit. Oh my god. Do they have a tag name? Tag name? Officer and a gentleman. Okay. Chuck Taylor Dan Barry. Good. That's much better than what I was about to lay on the universe. Oh, please let me know. So you know how uh, Chuck Taylor is uh, doing a Stone Cold gimmick? Uh-huh. I was going to offer you uh, the two-day on the power trip. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. That's bad. <laughs> Officer and a gentleman. <laughs> that should be before the Bobby Lashley thing, I guess. Uh, yeah. Like that yeah, yeah, yeah. That, or at least kind of makes sense as to why they didn't come out. Really high on the card, too. Yeah. Man, we're really going all in on the people who we like right now. Uh -huh. And not so much on... Although... Yeah, we're standing in the show with The Rock. It'll be fine. Yeah. You want to just do Laredo Man and Travis Banks? Um... Sure. Just give dope singles matches in our pre-show all the time. I'm giving them time. Fuck it. I don't think we've done a Travis Banks singles match yet. I'm pretty sure we... I'm pretty oh, sure yeah, he challenged no, for the exhibition title. Yeah. I don't think he challenged... Uh, maybe. I don't know. That's the wrong person. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> give, let's do what he can do. <laughs> okay. It's a dark match. Who cares? Sure. We know Laredo Man's good. Let's see uh, how how Sammy does. We're backstage. We're like, Laredo, get out there. And Sammy just runs out as fast as yeah. he can before anyone realizes what happened. Uh, who's getting the storytelling here? There's so many options. Um, I mean, I don't know. The Rock and the Big Guy are definitely going to be telling a story, but I don't know if we want to do that to our main event. Uh, Hagger and Lashley? Yeah, well, I mean, that match is already going to be bad because of their chemistry, right? Yeah. Well, we'll make it a storytelling, make that better or worse. Worse. Orange Juice and Limitless. Okay. This is definitely storied. Yes. And I trust the fucking psychology of Orange Cassidy to guide us through this story. Mm. Very trustworthy, man. Yes. Unless you ask Dragon Lee. That's the weirdest email we've ever gotten. Oh. Uh-huh. I told you. Yeah. Sammy G's good. He's just not over. Our roster's real good. Yeah. Weird. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah! I can't believe this got a 61! Oh my oh, god! Gosh. Also, uh, do you care? You don't care about spoilers, right? About what? NXT. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, Strictly the Best imploded on NXT. Oh no! Yep. How could they, how could they do that to Frank Grimes and whatever you Shane Strickland's new name is? <laughs> I don't know. I don't forget. Uh, yeah. This, that, it's 
We're good. Well, right? Becky's good. Mm hmm. Okay. I'll take this. Yep. Oh, Braxton Sutter's getting 60s. Can't wait for the big dog and the big bird to get back together. Oh, oh my fucking God. <laughs> oh, Keith Lee's just fired up. He's trying to, he's, he's just the legit piss that he's fallen this far down the card. Yeah. He's just cutting scathing promos week after week. We were just like, Keith, go out there and just like really let it all out. Yeah. All right. This is certainly a Will Ospreay segment. Yeah. Alicia and Tony Storm probably didn't help. But, uh, but yeah, this mm -hmm. was... I mean, we knew this was going to be bad. Yep. So. All right. Yeah, that's, that's better. Picked it back up. Hell yeah. What a... What a fearsome foursome we got here. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, this match is dope. <laughs> you even have Joey Janela come out and throw cigarettes in the ring. <laughs> what, literally, what more could you want in wrestling? <laughs> we got it all. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, Ultra Mantis Black was the person who underperformed in this. Yeah, we keep giving them these things, but they never do well. I mean, this, this is fine. Yeah, but, like, you would think the greatest collar commentator in the world would, like, improve these, but he usually drags them down. Oh, yes. <laughs> the big guy. Oh, yeah. We did it. <laughs> oh. Wake up. I feel like we could just end the series here. We've done it. <laughs> Mission accomplished banner drops from the ceiling. Yep. Look at this. Just look, look at this. Look at all these people. I want you to look at the TNA banner and then look at these eight pictures. Mm -hmm. Look, there's at least one, two, three, three real TNA people on there. So that's, you know, it's something. I am legitimately surprised that Ryback has not been in TNA yet. Yeah. Probably wow, too much money. just destroying I'm surprised this didn't uh, match last week's show. Uh, we had a 50. Yeah, that's true. I think we could all blame Jake Hager for this. You always want to blame Jake Hager. See, this is why he has to have a hack rag next week. I mean, so we... Hager also got a really nice run at the top, too. He was the Rock's first opponent. He was. The Mac. But not that one. No. It's the other oh, one. Blue Demont Jr. won the title in his own company. What a <laughs> fucking surprise. <sighs> God. Oh, no. Who's too small now? Uh, alright. Barack likes MJF. Okay. I mean, he just cut a promo with him. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, a bit big guy. Um, big guy thinks he should get more momentum. He just made invented a show against The Rock, but uh, that you know that'd be a bold email to send. But <laughs> he's a bold guy, so I can see it. All right. Uh, Desmond Xavier doesn't connect with the fans, says The Rock. Wow. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm going to forward this to Desmond Xavier, and he's a shooter, so yep. you watch be, yourself, Rock. You be careful, Dwayne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Shane Strickland also doesn't connect with the fans. You know, I've, I've seen a theme in this week's emails. I'm not sure I like it. Mm. Hmm. Going to have a talk with our main event scene next week. Sensitivity training. We really are just turning into WCW. What? What are you talking about? Just just getting emails from the main eventers being like, don't push those cruiserweights. That's <laughs> what you meant, right? Those those two cruiserweights. Yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. Other it's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never ready for a picture of Jamie Noble. 
Never? Look, look at him. He looks so scared. What, what if you do a Google image search for Jamie Noble? I'd still be like, whoa! <laughs> oh no, Joey Janela's upset. About what? Oh. Apparently he doesn't like Will Ospreay. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, one person is getting us 80 rated angles, <laughs> and the other's getting us 50 rated angles. I mean, to be fair, if Joey Janela was shooting with Alicia Edwards, probably, you, yeah, right. probably wouldn't be. How old is Joey at this point? It's a good question. Pretty, pretty fucking over. Yeah. I mean, he's not like main eventer over, although he we haven't slotted as a main eventer, but... He is getting close to Ryback over. He's more over than Will Ospreay, so... Definitely. Yeah, be careful, Will. And don't, don't make us choose between the two of you. Yeah. Oh, right, we have Kid Lycos, and we did nothing with him. Yeah, we were going to put CCK in, like, a six-man tag, but then we decided to invent the shooters, so... I mean, we could just have Lycos be Dragon Lee's next opponent. He can, he can attack Orange Cassidy. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Why not? Togi Makabe is stunned. He can't believe what he just heard. I can't believe it either, Togi. Well, where is that going? In attacking Orange Cassidy. <laughs> Nowhere. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess he could do it. But kind of thought you had a follow-up after that. Super card of honor. Young Bucks and I don't even know who Brute Force is. That sounds like a made-up tag team. It really does, but... Uh, but it is Ring of Honor, touche. Yeah, uh, yeah. If I went to a Ring of Honor show and they were like, come into the ring, Brute Force, I'd be like, yep, sure, okay. Uh, there's a... Is that a... Uh, uh, Cruiser XL. and someone Force? Has oh. XL and... Uh, the real one? Maybe. I, I legitimately have heard those names and don't know who they are. Ah, uh, that's Big Cass and Enzo Amore. Oh, fuck. Oh, it all makes sense now. They're not actually in Ring of Honor, right? I don't know. Because, like, the longer it goes out with them not doing anything with Ring of Honor, the more I'm like, wow, that's a real fucking shitty thing that they did it, then. It seems like they wanted to bring them in, and then everyone was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then they got cold feet. That's what it seems like to me. It's good. Yeah. Because, like, that angle sucked. Mm hmm Also, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks. Don't let uh, don't let Quack see this loading screen. No, Miss Missile Assault Man wrestles as Missile Assault Man now. What the fuck? Sorry. Just exposing the business in Chikara. The big deal became the Who new the Chikara fuck is champion. The big deal. Well, <laughs> I need to know. It's the big deal. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Should have known. I hope he comes out to that music, too. Also, the big deal just sounds like a, a special that they have at, like, uh, Burger King or something. Like, hey, can I get the big deal? Yeah, it's a, it's a Denny's thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if it's Denny's thing, it's it's gonna be a big deal. You're gonna get like six pancakes and five eggs, and you're gonna regret it for a day. But yeah, you're still gonna eat it. Oh yeah. What happened in in our uh, 
What was this? Let's see. Shelton Benjamin and Kazarian. Low key. Didn't Kazarian get signed to WWE? Yeah. Low key and Colin Cassidy defeated Baron Corbin and Keith Lee. Oh, this is one of those weird shows where they book people. Okay. Yep. That's why I like taking a look at it because you get weird matches like the one we just looked at. All right, have uh, Will Ospreay and Joey Janela gotten into a fight this early? Boy, I hope not. Oh, he really did hear. Swarley, did you forward that email? I said what I said. Okay. If that was a fight, I would have, like... Game is that would, deeper than that I thought. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Desmond Xavier beat the shit out of the rock yeah. backstage. Also, Desmond Xavier would be so, so fired. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. Like, he'd the be, shooters would be done. He'd be super fired. But his indie gimmick would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, honestly, WWE would probably just sign him. Yeah, and continue the shooter gimmick. Yeah. All right. Uh, probably our last show of the night here. All right. Let's make it a good one. Yeah, finish strong. Uh, how are we having The Rock come out to start? <laughs> By walking. I don't know. What? No flamethrower this time? Oh, man. Yeah, we've never started Impact with The Rock lighting Should... his name on fire. Should should he lay out the challenge for Lethal Lockdown? Is that how we should start? I mean, we are two weeks away now. Yeah. Yeah. Why are the heels accepting this? Why are the heels accepting this? Why are the heels accepting this? Okay. I have I have two I have two things, both involve lawyers. One is extremely dumb, and one is kind of dumb. Which do you want to hear first? I also have a dumb thing that involves lawyers. So okay. this is amazing. Okay. I would like to hear. I would like to go up in dumbness. So start with kind of dumb, and and then lay on the main event. <laughs> okay, kind of dumb. The Rock is going to be like, I have my lawyers look into what you did to Shingo. It was super illegal. If you're gonna give us this match, I'm gonna, you know. We're going to, you know, tell the world or send it up to the, you know, we're going to turn you in, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, more extremely dumb is I had my lawyers look at the contract and legally by law, there has to be a lethal lockdown match at lockdown. Uh, okay. So why not us? I have some fucking Brock Lesnar bullshit. Okay. In my go. head. Ironclad contract. Uh, the Rock is going to come out. Mm -hmm. um, and he is going to be like, uh, I, you know, I had my lawyers look over my contract because apparently that's all The Rock's been doing for the last week. And uh, I only have a, so many number of uh, television dates that I have to work. And uh, you just booked my last one. So that contract is now null and void. Uh, and I talked to your friend over at Spike TV, and he said, if I'm not on this show, there is no show. So, your move, Joey Janela. You're going to give me this lethal lockdown challenge or not? Okay, that, that makes sense. Okay. Told you it was maybe Maybe, maybe less of, like, the, oh, I used all my dates thing, but more just, like, yeah, um, I told Spike TV that if you guys didn't give me this legal lockdown match, I was going to quit. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, and they told me that if I quit, they were going to cancel your show. So, I don't know. Ball's in your court, I guess. Yep. All right, Joey and, and MJF are going to come out and be like, Ah, so we guess we're doing this match, or are they going to wait off on it? Oh, no, they're, they're going to be there. I imagine them being on the ramp as this is happening, and then... 
Uh, I imagined MJF like taking off his uh, Burberry scarf and slamming it on the ground and stomping it and stuff like that. Real, real cartoon villain shit. Yeah, like they come out when the Rock lays down the challenge. They're like, "We're, we're not going to do that." Like, yeah. There's we nothing told you, that you can do that would make us do that match. Yeah. We told you we run the show now, not you and your Hollywood lawyers. Yep. Perfect. The only thing missing now is lawyers, because we writ- we wrote out the lawyers. That's all right. Uh, that's all right. We still got Rusev. Uh, oh, boy. what? Where do you go from there? Uh, probably a match. Yeah. I would say so. Um, okay. So, at the pay-per-view, we're doing Eddie and Will, when we're not doing a mixed tag, right? Because that would be dumb. Right. You want to do the mix tag right now? Sure. Okay. I, I Will and Tony have to win that match. I think so. Okay. I'm glad we're on the same page. I also think that we have gave ourselves a perfect out of Tony Storm pinning Alicia Edwards. Sure did. Yeah. All right. That match happened. Uh-huh. We can all agree that that happened. Uh, yep. Is this the week that the turn occurs? Yeah, probably. All right. Who is Braxton losing to to get beat up by Keith Lee after? Oh, fuck. I have an idea. Okay. I would like Andrew Everett to beat Braxton Sutter. And then I would like Andrew Everett to say, like, to be walking to the back and then come back and, like... Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know if he could fight off Keith Lee, but, like, grab Braxton Sutter and, like... Yeah, pull him out of the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The idea of, like, Andrew Everett running in and, like, chasing off Keith Lee is comical, but a bit much. (laughs) Yeah. Andrew Everett pulls a sawed-off shotgun uh, from (laughs) under the ring and chases off Keith Lee. Even then, I might still put my money on Keith Lee. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Keith Lee could just, like, put his fingers in the in the barrel, then he would shoot it and it would uh, curl up like a cartoon. Yep. A lot, a lot of cartoons on this show. Wrestling is just cartoons, really. You're not wrong. The quicker you realize that, the more you enjoy it. Yeah. Also, we're probably about two segments away from uh, evil Australians torturing ACH or whatever, so. Hell yeah. <laughs> This is going to get be lower because Andrew Everett over this, but... Mm-hmm. Plus, it gives the fans, like, the image of Everett and Braxton together. So they, they might want that team up again. Uh, I guess I might as well not beat around the bush. Just jump right into Australians. Sure. All right. So we are in Australia, right? Uh, because we're in Australia, we have to be in like a Jeep or something in the Mm -hmm. outback. Sure. Uh, ACH is in the back seat, uh, tied up, mm-hmm. and uh, Tanit, Teal, and Eagles are in the front seats, and it's parked. Another Jeep pulls up, and it's anime, and they they do a hostage exchange of signing the contract for the match for ACH. <laughs> Okay. Also, ACH uh, just 100% played a damsel in distress in this angle. Yeah. I mean, they... Also, they also at the end, I would like them to be like, did we really have to come all the way to Australia <laughs> for this? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I have a feeling, like, Mercedes Moon is like, all right, we came to this location, don't know why we're here, but... We're here. Could have done this in New Jersey where the show is. 
Oh, you're playing by all terms now. Aussie rules. You got it. <laughs> you're playing by Aussie rules now. This is Aussie rules hostage negotiation. It's not the same as your American hostage negotiation. Yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. What's our main event tonight? Oh, God. What's our main event tonight? Also, are we... I would like to do next week a member of CCK and the Australians versus ACH in anime. I'd be fine with that. Okay. I'm going to write it down. All right. So I'm just looking at our Lethal Lockdown match. We, we did the Rock on Wrestling on TV once. That's probably enough. Yep. Well, we ran out of his dates. He can't do it anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So then we have Pentagon. Oh, we probably should do something to get, like, Pentagon and Phoenix, like, officially on the team or something. Sure. I mean, Pentagon was in the match last. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're fine. We'll do it. Uh, what are we doing here? How about, like, EC3 and the Lucha Bros against uh, Big Guy, Big Guy, Loki, and Miroslav? I like it. I like it. I like where your head's at. Mm -hmm. It's a very similar six-man tag to last week, but just, just different enough. Uh, what if... Instead of Loki, mm -hmm. it was MJF. Why would it be MJF? Because MJF is going to go, like, like MJF and Joey backstage in their office. And MJF is panicking because he's like, I haven't wrestled in months. I am st I can't be in that match. I need, pra I need to get out there. I mean, they wrestled at the last pay-per-view, but sure. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Never mind. It's Loki. Good. He just hasn't wrestled on TV in months, which is why I was saying that. Mm. You gotta pay to see MJF, brother. <laughs> yeah, I mean, The Rock has been on TV wrestling more than MJF. Mm -hmm. uh, who, who, who wins? I kind of feel like the good guys are due for a win. The Rock just won last week. That's true. That is true. Uh, no, uh, I mean, we, we should give Phoenix one because he's been he's been eating pins to ear. He's been being good to us. Yeah, he and you could always pin Loki. Yep, you can always pin Loki. Oh, uh, did I did I just overhear something? <laughs> yeah, go do the job, buddy. <laughs> Shelly should probably get a win too, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. But probably just against some rando. Sure, but just to be like, Alex Shelley, he's here. Yeah. Who we got? Alex Shelley, David Starr? He's Alex Shelley, rando, David but... Starr. That sounds yeah. dope. Not a rando, but like... Yeah. Give him time. Fuck it. We can take that time away if we need it later. Uh, we need to do something with Ashley and Kyrie. With oh, we... Dragon Lee and Ear. Ashley, Rebecca, and somebody against Hojo, Candice, and Tessa. Or we could just do, I guess we could just do Ashley and Rebecca against Hojo and Candice. Sure. Because there isn't a new horse daughter yet. No. There probably won't be. Probably never, Yeah. R.I.P. Horse Daughters. Unless, I don't know, Arn Anderson has a daughter we don't know about. Yep. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Kairi Hojo and... Uh, da -da 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 don't... Da -da. Got it. Nope. Find a way to make this a six man. <sighs> six woman. Uh, so, heal women. Let's get the faces in there first, actually. Heal women who would team with Ashley. Let's 
it's Kaylee Ray or Shayna Baszler? I think it's Shayna Baszler. Yeah, that feels right. Yeah. So is there something? Kids are horse woman. Yeah, horse woman, horse daughter, potato potato. Starting a new faction, the four horse ladies. Uh, I mean, uh, who's getting pinned, Shayna or Tessa? Tessa. Ashley. Yeah. There's one thing that we've established: it's that Ashley is better than Tessa. Yes. <laughs> As is most of our women's roster. R.I.P. Uh, Tessa. Oh, we need angles. All right. Ear. Contract signing. Ear. Yes. Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee. Ear doesn't even sign his own contracts. He has his butler sign for him. Ooh, Very like illegal, but still somehow Rub- works. Rubber stamp. Yeah. Ear uses a fucking medieval seal. Oh, 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 I just had a great idea. What? So, like, they're doing the contract signing, but there's not a table there. It's just, like, a little podium. Yeah. So then, like, he, uh, Ear attacks Dragon Lee, but there's no table. So then, like, the butlers go out of the ring. They lift it up. They said they put the table in the ring. They set it up. They, like, put a tablecloth on it. They wipe it down. And then they, like, help them. The butlers help Ear put him through a table. Okay, that's much better than where I thought you were going with that, which is the butlers become a table for ear to put him through. <laughs> I mean, that's that's all right, but <laughs> and then the butlers just lay down like a broken table. <laughs> Speaking of, we're supposed to have a hag rag this week. Oh yes. What do you mean supposed to? We just haven't booked it yet. All right. Jake Hager, his new best friend, Matt Riddle, his other new best friend, Desmond Xavier. They're all shooters, brother. Yep. Yeah, so Hager's going to, he's going to talk about how he's joining up with Riddle and Desmond Xavier because they're all legit. They're all tough. Bobby Lashley, he used to be legit and tough. Now he's just a goofball. And then Bobby Lashley's going to come out, uh, I guess, with Chuck and Dan. Uh, and he, to prove he's not a goofball with Chuck Taylor and Dan Barry. Yeah. I basically want him to do, like, you know, the old fake heel turn of, like, you know, I've been listening to what you guys are saying, and, you know, I, th- I think you guys might be right. I- I've-, I've gotten soft. You know, Chuck and Dan, did, you know, they're great guys, but I'm not – I don't have that competitive edge I used to. Maybe maybe it is time I join up with you guys. And then, you know, he goes to, like, hug Jake Hager, but then he belly-to-belly suplexes him through the desk or whatever. Yep, Chuck and Dan, bum rush. Riddle yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. Potted plant gets broken. Oh God! Not Jeff or whatever. Re- remember the thing with Jericho and Ambrose, and there was the potted plant. Yeah, what was that's, the plant's that's name? That's the joke I was making. Okay, I didn't what was remember the... the name? But okay, I remember it happened. I'm gonna say it was Jeff, but I don't think that's right. Close enough. Eleven minutes. We have nothing left. Orange like, juice and CCK. Orange juice and CCK. Uh, is this just orange juice coming up and being like, uh, "We we beat you. We should definitely." I, get- I think I I like the idea of a promo where it's like backstage. It could be it could be backstage or in the ring, but it's basically CCK running up to Orange Juice and being like, "Oh, I you didn't beat us. That was a fluke." We want you again in match. And then Orange Cassidy's just like, whatever. Oh, Orange. oh, whatever. What, you're big league at us? Fine. We'll even put the titles on the line. We don't care. Like, That's all yeah. right, man. <laughs> That's cool. I, I want to see Juice Robinson trying to do promos like Orange Cassidy. <laughs> Just with like all the energy that he he has, but then trying to be like, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> I just imagine them go like, oh, we'll even put the titles online. We'll we'll face you a lockdown. And then then Orange Cassidy just goes, cool. Yeah. 
Uh, we may have done it. We may have finally gotten Orange Cassidy onto the, the main roster here. I don't know. We'll see. He's, he is still getting 30s. Yeah, well, our shows are still getting 80s. Yeah, that's true. Five more minutes. Rocky Romero versus fucking Laredo, man. I mean, Rocky Romero should just be involved in that Keith yeah. Lee thing. That's true. And to be honest, we could probably just give five more minutes to the opening promo. It's only going six. Oh, that's a mistake. Yeah. All right, storytelling. Um, Mixed tag or Everett Sutter? I mean, Everett Sutter seems like they're telling a story, right? We have no angle to end the match. Or in the show. Just, oh. we don't have to, but... Just in case you want one. Do, do you want to go uh, go with the classic? Uh, whose name is Ethan yelling? Uh, who, who interfered? Did anyone interfere? Uh, Joey? Alright. Nope, Phoenix went clean. Oh, Phoenix went clean. Oh, that's right. The baby face is one. Well, there's no reason for EC3 to yell then. Unless Ethan's just yelling Phoenix excitedly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new twist. He's a face now, so he yells happily. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we need to. No, I think we're good then. If Phoenix yeah. went clean, we end the show with the good guys having won. Mm -hmm. Give them a win. Send the fans home happy for once. Shingo's a main uh, upper mid carter by not showing up. Yeah. We're still talking about him a lot. Uh, do we do we want to hold off on Kid Lycos? I mean, he's not debuting today. Okay. So, nothing here. Nope, I think we're good. Alrighty, where is this show? Great Lakes. Love them Great Lakes. Wow. MJF looked dreadful and somehow got a 91. He missed the, the scarf while stopping. <laughs> yeah. He tried to rip it off his neck and throw it down, but it got all, like, tangled up, and then he had to, like, stop what he was doing. Well, this did better than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Alicia Edwards is real not good, so <laughs> that's a... Remember not to book her again. Alicia Edwards was our backstage interviewer. Yeah. She's well, in a match. Yeah, good for you know. Yeah, good for I mean, her. no big deal. But... Wow, Orange Cassidy was very underwhelming. Yeah, that's his gimmick. <laughs> that's that's the point, game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, Hager's gimmick's getting stale. I guess we'll have to uh, tweak it so now he's Jake Hager, but a shooter. Yeah. Oh, nice. uh, they, they, they just couldn't handle this this next hot match. I mean, that's, that's better than I thought it would get. Yeah. Braxton carried it. Um, it I'm doing it, it. Yeah, this is the turn. Right. Black Charisma. <laughs> right. He's a bad guy. And the turn went well. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. He, they're back. We've all been pining for the big dog and the big bird to return. This did good. This did surprisingly well. Yeah. Uh, Tessa Shana as and, good as Candice yeah. now. Yeah. There's definitely a uh, tier one and tier two in our women's division. Yes, for sure. The fuck. Yeah, this is good. Crab, I expected this. Crab loves butlers. Dragon Lee cutting promos always does stupid good. Yep. I've legitimately never seen Dragon Lee cut a promo, so who knows? He could be a deaf mute for all I know. This was... This was good. I mean, I, I was uh, hoping we'd hit the 70s, but this was good. Were you? 
I mean, this yeah. is... I mean, I guess, but... My word. I would be very excited for an Alex Shelley David Star match, so maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. We've done it. <laughs> the Madison Eagle Bates and my storyline has <laughs> advanced. Sure has. That's just a that's just a never ending storyline. She just she still hates anime. She yeah. hasn't changed her mind. Whoa, yeah. So, if you were to guess, what percentage of TV shows has the big guy main evented since he showed up? Like ninety percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like all, I think all of them, but one or two. Wow. Yeah. Big guy. <laughs> Why did we waste a long sign him? I don't know. He was in PWG. We should have known. Yeah, we should have known. We, we should take that as a sign of, like, he's an indie darling now. It's okay. Yeah, everyone it, loves the big guy, ironically, now. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, like, we won't look like we're being WWE light or whatever. I mean, we are, but... We got The Rock, though, so we're full flavor WWE. Dragon Lee's opinion. I just want him to tell me the right back sucks. Fuck Dan Barry. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> what, what? What is the deal between these two? Is this a rib on us? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Dragon Lee, like, backstage with Orange Cassie, like, I bet if I just send it to him every week, eventually they're going to come talk to you about it. And Orange Cassie's just like, whatever, man. Oh, going back to be like, so Orange, we want to talk to you. We've been getting some complaints about your rig work. That's uh, a bit unsafe. Why is there a note here that just says the bad bird, Braxton Sutter? Oh, because uh, Black Charisma. Oh, he is the bad bird. <laughs> He's a bad, bad bird. <laughs> okay. All right. That is our stream. Uh, I will be putting out the regular schedule as soon as the finals are over. So I will put it. What is it? Sticking it on Twitter? Pinning it. I will pin that. At the top of my Twitter. So go check out Let's Play TW on Twitter and you can see what the schedule is. Uh, I would say it, tomorrow, but I don't. When, when is Fire Pro now? Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. When, yeah. What do you got for us Sunday, Swirly? Fuck if I know. Cool. Uh, no, for real, though, there's there'll be a four way with Alistair Black defending against the three people. That won the matches, which I totally know off the top of my head. I'm definitely not frantic. You don't want to give any spoilers for people who to are Wrestle it. Connect. Uh, it'll be Alistair Black taking on Walter Tanahashi and Mitsuharu Masawa in a fatal four way for the title. No, it's a shame that Fire Pro doesn't really let you have enough uh, star power in that main event there. Yeah, if only if only we could add some more. Let's see what else have I confirmed. Oh, so Arley Cup online. El Hijo Del Vikingo takes on Rory Gulak. Uh, and Team Skiff is going to try to get three faction warfare points. That means they'd get a shot at every belt. Oh, no. What What title would Gritty go for? All of them. You didn't I, say I, that it has to be different people for I each didn't, belt. I, that's true. You fucked up. <laughs> I mean, Gritty can't challenge for the women's title. I'm going to put my foot down on that. But yeah. Can you but, tell me that Gritty isn't female? No. All right. Skiff, you're welcome. Uh, that That's our stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank, thanks for hanging out. I mm -hmm. I think I'll be in the stream. I don't, I don't think the finals will go to seven, so I'll probably be in your stream on Sunday. All right, cool. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good one. Bye, folks.